Uh, this work started uh, probably when I was, uh, the inspiration for this work started when I was very young and uh, my father used to bring us home all these different rocks and he used to take us on uh, different searches for uh, beach, beaches, beaches in California, beaches in Oregon not California so much, more about Oregon, and southern Alberta. And we lived right near the Rockies in southern Alberta and Lethbridge. So stones and rocks and fossils have always been very important to me. We lived near Brooks, and near Brooks there was a dinosaur park. And one of my most foremost memories is reaching up on my father's desk and touching all these fossils and stones and rocks and holding them. And I found them more recently when I was taking this mentorship class with Jane Gordon and she wanted us to work from the haptic space, that space that is within uh, the, our arm's reach from our nose to the end of our hand. And it was winter and I thought, what can I touch and feel that will have resonance? And I was looking around the house and I found these fossils of my father's. And I started to look at all these rocks that I've collected from Huron, from uh, uh, Huron Sands uh, in Ontario, and I just I started drawing them. And I drew and I drew and I drew them for about three weeks. And I, when I was absolutely full of all the textures and the feeling of the textures, I started to paint almost at a subconscious level the things that I have absorbed. So for me it represents like a lifetime of touching and picking up things that I have found on the earth. And I'm also a gardener, so the haptic space and that sense of touch and that those textures have been very important for me in this piece. And one thing about the mentorship program with Jane is she pushes you. And you question yourself frequently about art and what you're doing. And she said, is the question is not, what is art? The question is, or maybe the statement is, art is, comma, what? And art is a given. And because art is a given, you stop judging. And I think that's so important when you're working in art. It's just to stop judging what you're doing and just do it. And I did it. And I pushed it further than I've ever pushed my abstracts before. And they're not really abstracts. They're just kind of mark making. And I, uh, when I got stuck, I'd go back to the haptic drawings I'd done. And I'd, I'd, I'd overlap right over. I'd work over top of the other drawings and paintings I'd made. And I was painting the last day I brought it in. And I thought, just stop it. You would become obsessed. So it's a story of a grand obsession.